Hi, it's Ms. Donna with Raleigh Parks Recreation and Cultural Resources. This video is part of our At Home with Nature series, Excellent Adventures. We're going to hear a story. It's called Chickens Aren't the Only Ones, and it was written by Ruth Heller. And we are going to discover that there are many kinds of animals that hatch from eggs. <laughs> Get ready. And our story begins like this. Chickens lay the eggs you buy, the eggs you boil or fry or die. Or leave alone so you can see what grew inside naturally. Chickens aren't the only ones. Every bird wild or tame does the same. The ostrich lays the largest egg, the hummingbird the smallest. The chickens aren't the only ones. Most snakes lay eggs and lizards too, and crocodiles and turtles do and dinosaurs who are extinct, but they were reptiles too. And frogs and toads and salamanders lay eggs. And when they hatch, they're tadpoles who grow legs and climb a lily pad, just like their mom and dad. They don't have claws or scaly skins. They are called amphibians and fish eggs that float up to the surface or sink to the bottom of the ocean floor. This mother seahorse lays her eggs into the father's pouch. He keeps them there until they hatch and then he's through. I think that's nice of him, don't you? And these fathers too are helping out by guarding eggs, protected by that foamy mass that's floating by. And they won't leave until they're sure that all the eggs have hatched. And these don't look like eggs to me, but they were laid in the sea. This one by a shark and this one by a ray. Is a mermaid's purse, they say. And the octopus is said to shed 100,000 eggs and then to hang them up in strings attached to rocks or caves. And the moon snail's eggs are mixed with sand to form this collar looking band. And spiders wrap their eggs in sacks and snails, you know, are very slow, but they lay eggs that hatch and grow. And so do insects who have six legs and lay many different kinds of eggs. This one will hatch into a hungry caterpillar who will grow and grow and grow and then climb a stem and change into this, a chrysalis, and change again one summer morn. That's how a butterfly is born. Animals with fur or hair who nurse their young and don't lay eggs are known as mammals or mammalia. <laughs> but these two are exceptions and they both live in Australia spiny anteater and a duck bill platypus. And chickens aren't the only ones. There's no more to discuss. Everyone who lays an egg is oviparous. And animals who don't lay eggs have babies born alive and well. But that's another tale to tell. The end.